Hello and welcome to this, the second of a series of three video tutorials on how to create a base map using a, an application called LibreCAD. So I have LibreCAD open here. So where you'd find that normally is if you go down to your start menu, you'll see a list of applications you have and you just, just click on LibreCAD. So these are the topics I'll be covering today in this the second tutorial so the first one is opening up the LibreCAD application open the aerial image that we had saved earlier in video one make some adjustments to the image import the aerial image from our C drive from our dedicated folder that we would have in our C drive for our projects here symmetry and graveyard projects uh, the next one will create some layers within LibreCAD with this the layers will help us to keep control of all of the different elements we will be using and creating within the program and next number six we'll be saving our work to our C drive so what I'll do here is I'm going to, the first things first what you should do is create a, a layer for the aerial image so I'm going to create a layer here I'm going to call it aerial Gary Breeder I'm going to leave the rest of these options at their default click OK so I'll go to File, Import, Insert Image. Now what you'll do is, is you'll go to your C drive, go to your Gary Breda folder, go to Gary Breda Aerial, and select the most recent aerial photograph you have. Click Open. And just click anywhere within this black area. And you can scroll out with your mouse and there we have the image of the Gary Breeder. So the next thing we'll do is we'll create a another layer. This time we'll say Gary Breeder boundary wall. Boundary wall. And we'll make the line weight a little thicker just so it'll be easier to see when we go to print. So we'll leave it around maybe 50 mil. Click OK. So we're on the Gary Breda layer for the boundary wall. And what we can do then is we can start drawing. And Using this option here, this line is possibly the quickest and easiest way to start drawing this boundary wall. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm just going to click as close as I can to the outside of the boundary wall here and here, here, here. And that's my boundary wall created. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another layer. And this time, this will be actually for the plots themselves. And I'm going to give them a color of red. And I'm going to give them a line weight of maybe 30 millimeters. And I'll leave the, this at its default. Click OK. So I've the my in my layers list here, Gary Breda plots is highlighted in grey. So now I can start drawing my plots. So again, just start drawing around those 
white plot areas there. So you get the general idea. The nice thing about putting things on layers is that you can turn on and off the display for those particular elements in your drawing. So I can actually turn off the aerial map. I can turn off the aerial map and I can turn off the plots. I can turn off the boundary wall. So you get the general idea. Um, just to finish off this segment of tutorial 2, I'm just going to show you how to save this drawing. So what you should do is come to File, Save As, go to your C drive, go to your Carry Breeder Cemetery folder, your AutoCAD folder, and just give it a suitable name, so Carry Breeder. Drawing. Yes, Base map. Zero one, because zero one is the first revision, and just click on save. And that's the end of tutorial two. And in tutorial three, I'll just show you how to plot and print off what your work that you've done. That's the end of tutorial number two. Thank you very much for watching.